finally we have Patrick. Patrick? Yes, there is a Patrick there. Patrick, in On a Cross and Arrow, in similar gender swapping fan fiction, what is the name of Rainbow Dash's male counterpart? Please speak into the microphone. Sorry? You don't know. Okay, it's Rainbow Blitz. Please choose a contestant. Please choose a contestant. Please come back and please choose a contestant. Fourteen. Sorry? Fourteen. Twenty? Fourteen. Dratzi. Dratzi, are you here? Dratzi. Dratzi is not here. Okay. Okay, the next contestant is Sponzo. Have we had Sponzo yet? I think... Yes, Sponzo, you've got one correct answer, so if you get this right, you're through to the next round. Um, what is the name of Pinkie Pie's pet alligator? Gummy. Gummy is the correct answer, well done, you're through. Please choose the contestant. Please choose the contestant. Forty-one. Forty-one. Spray Pony. Spray Pony, are you here? Spray Pony, what is the name of the candy shop where Pinkie Pie works? Sugar Cube Corner. That is correct. Well done. Please choose the contestant. Uh, 32. 32? Yeah. 32. Crack, crack Hour. Crack, crack Hour. Are you here? Crack Hour is not here. Okay, we will choose the contestant by random. Chaos Tomato. Chaos Tomato. You have to be aware you've got one wrong answer, so if you get this one wrong, you're out of the game. In which season do the Cutie Mark Crusaders earn their Cutie Marks? In season 5. That is the right answer. <laughs> Please choose a contestant. 15. 15. Stiff 64. Stiff 64? Yes! Stiff 64. Which type of pony is Lyra Heartstrings? A unicorn. Pardon? A unicorn. That is correct. Please choose a contestant. 33. 33? Dawn Flash, please step up to the microphone. Dawn Flash, which song does Pinkie Pie sing for Rainbow Dash's birthday party? It's your birthday party. I don't know what the name of the song. I'm afraid that's the wrong answer. It's called Make a Wish. Please stay, please stay, and please choose, please choose a contestant. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay. Kitesh. Kitesh, are you here? Kitesh? Kitesh is missing. We will choose someone by random. And we've got Justice. Justice, are you here? Please step up to the microphone. Justice? What irony that Justice is to be disqualified. Uh, Chaos Tomato, you've been chosen once again by random. Chaos Tomato, you've got one right answer and one wrong answer, so this will decide your fate. What is the name of the Griffin City that was once ruled by King Grover? Griffinstone. Griffinstone, that is correct. You're through to the... Please stay. Please stay. Please stay. <laughs> and choose a contestant, please. 38. 38. Morven. This is your first question. Good luck. Who are the three original Cutie Mark Crusaders? Please name all of them. Bloom, Sweetie Bill, and Scootaloo. Wow, even in the correct order. <laughs> Please choose the contestant. Uh, uh, 35? 35. That would be Destruction Spark. Please step up to the microphone. You've got one right answer. If you get this one right, you're through to the next round. In, on a cross and arrow in similar gender swapping fan fiction, what is the name of Rarity's male counterpart? Radiance? I don't know. Radiance, that is the wrong answer. It's illusive. Please stay, please stay. And please choose a contestant. 22. 50, no, wait, 20. what? Say again. 22. Okay, 22. That would be Pony with no name. Please step up to the microphone. This is your second question. What is the title of the episode in which the Cutie Mark Crusaders earn their Cutie Marks? I just watched it yesterday. Uh, 
No. You don't know? No. Okay, it's Crusaders of the Lost Mark. But you've got another chance. Please choose another contestant. Um, 13. 13. 13. That would be Philip. Please step up to the microphone. Philip, in which episode is the Grand Galloping Gala first mentioned? Season 1, episode 26. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, season 1, episode 3. Season 1, ep is this your final answer? Yeah. You are lucky, that is correct, well done. Please choose another contestant. 34. 34. Mask, please step up to the microphone. Mask, which type of pony is Daring Do? Pegasus. That is correct. Well done. Another contestant? Um, 25. 25. Mr. Gilapple, please step up to the microphone. Mr. Gilapple, which character does Twilight Sparkle bump into both as a human and as a pony in the first Equestria Girls movie? Silverschein? No, I'm afraid that's wrong. It's last century. Please, please choose another contestant. Uh, 42. 42. We've got Grey Silvermane. Please step up to the microphone. Uh, Grey Silvermane, what is the title of the third My Little Pony Equestria Girls movie? Friendship Games. Correct. Please choose a contestant. 21. Pardon? 21. 21. Dante Dash, please step up to the microphone. Dante Dash. For how long was Luna banished to the moon? Thousand years. A thousand years is correct. Well done. Please choose a contestant. Forty-one. Forty-one. Spray Pony, please step up to the microphone. Oh my God. Spray Pony, what species of two-headed dog appears in Tradia, Season 4, Episode 22? I don't know. Okay, the answer is all awesome. Please stay, please stay, and please choose a contestant. Uh, 24. 24. That would be Nerf Stranger. Please step up to the microphone. Another one of these. In On a Cross and Arrow and similar gender swapping fanfiction, what is the name of Pinkie Pie's male counterpart? I don't know. Okay, it's Bubbleberry. Please choose another contestant. Um, 37. 37? Yeah. Rodney, please step up to the microphone. Complete this lyric from the Flim Flam Brothers. We are the world famous Flim Flam Brothers, traveling sales ponies. What is the last word? I know how I'm afraid your time is up. The correct answer is non parade. Please choose another contestant. Please, Rodney, please choose another contestant. 33, alright. That would be Don Flap. Please step up to the microphone. Which type of pony is Derpy Hooves? Well, Pegasus. Pegasus, that is correct. Please choose a contestant. Uh, 41. Pardon? 41. 41. Spray pony, please step up to the microphone. Spray pony. Yeah. What is the name of Rarity's home and shop in Ponyville? Carousel Boutique. That is correct. Please choose another contestant. Um, ten. Ten. We've got Lurak LV. Lurak. What are the colors of Pinkie Pie's cutie mark? Uh, there's blue, pink, and yellow. Okay, I will accept the pink because it's part of her coat. The correct answer is yellow and light blue. That's fine. Uh, you are now through to the next round. So, please choose another contestant. Fifteen? Fifteen. That would be Stiff 64. Please step up to the microphone. Stiff. In, on, across, and arrow and similar gender swapping fan fiction, what is the name of Flutterguy's male counterpart? Flutterguy. Please choose a contestant. 
23. 33. Step on flat, please step up to the microphone. For you, this question is the decider. Okay. What nickname did, did Spike give to Rarity when she was under the influence of Poison Joke? Rarity. Rarity, that is correct, well done. Please choose a contestant. Six. Number six. Lightning gear. Um, okay, you've got one correct answer, so this might be a decider for you as well. What type of creature is Stephen Magnet? Well, um, he was a, something of something like a sea dragon, even though that's not actually the correct term. No, I, I'm afraid I have to know the correct. Uh, okay, yeah, because because it is mentioned on the show. Mm -hmm. It is a yeah, sea serpent. serpent. All right, I'll pick twenty-seven. 27, left eye hawk, left eye hawk, please step up to the microphone. What nickname did Spike give to Pinkie Pie when she was under the influence of Poison Joke? Spitty Pie. Spitty Pie, that is correct, well done. So you're also through to the next round. Please choose the contestant. Six. Number six. Okay, that's lightning gear. Now, lightning gear. If you get this right, not only are you through to the next round, you are the 10th contestant to go through, which means that the round is over and everyone else is out of the game. So, good luck. Yeah. During the cutie mark switch in Magical Mystery Cure, Applejack gets whose cutie mark? Rarities. Rarities is correct. Well done, and that means this is the end of the first round. Okay, please may I ask everyone uh, who is not through to the okay. round. In this category, we have 10 contestants, and each contestant has a score. We also have categories. There are six categories of knowledge which I will ask you questions in. My Little Pony collectible card game, fan fiction, Brody music, cast and crew, IDW comics, and translations in which I will tell you the name of the show in a different language and all you have to do is identify the language. Each category has a very easy, easy, medium, hard and very hard question which are worth one, two, three, four and five points. If you get a question right, you win that many points. If you get a question wrong, you lose that many points and your score can go negative, so be careful. There are 60 questions in total, which means um, sorry, there are 30 questions in total, which means that each of you will get to, uh, uh, to, to pick only three questions, so make them count. So, the first player up is Chaos Tomato. Please step up to the microphone. The order of the players was chosen by random. Chaos Tomato, please step up to the microphone. Thank you. So, um, okay, please select a category. Brony Music, I hope? Brony Music, and please select a difficulty. One, two, three, four, or five. Two? Two. Which song by Forest Rain, actually a cover of You're Gonna Go Far Kid by The Offspring with new lyrics, describes a person's journey from skeptic to brony? Nope, I have no idea. I'm not sure. Sorry? I'm not sure. You're not sure. It's join the herd. <laughs> So, thank you, you may return. Um, Professor Dr. Crazy Moon, please step up to the microphone. Please choose a category. Pardon? Ah, the comics, all right. And the difficulty? Three. Three. Who rules Equestria in an alternate universe which Celestia and Starsfell the Bearded visited a long time ago? King Sombra. King Sombra is the right answer, well done. Set us a pudding head. Set us a pudding head, you're on. Please choose a category. Brony music for three. Brony music for three. Which song by David Larson is also the end credit music of an episode length fan animation of the same name? Double Rainbow. Double Rainbow, well done, that is correct. Wow. Please step up to the microphone. Please choose the category. Uh, Brony Music 1. Brony Music for 1? Yeah. Okay. Which song, originally written by Eurobeat Brony and then covered by The Living Tombstone, is named after a season 2 antagonist? Discord. That is correct. Sponzo. Sponzo, 
Please come up to the microphone. Please choose a category. Uh, cast and crew two. Cast and crew two. Who voices both Rainbow Dash and Applejack? Uh, <laughs> the name. Ashley Ball. Ashley Ball, that is correct. Well done. Don Flash, your name. Don Flash, please step up to the microphone. Choose a category. Uh, MLPCCG for three. MLPCCG for three. Main characters and what other type of card count as characters? Friends. Main Friends, characters. that is right. Well done. Uh, Left Eye Hawk, your name. Please choose a category. Cast and crew three. Cast and crew for three. Yes. Who took over as executive producer of MLP Film after Lauren Falls left? Megan McCarthy? No, I'm afraid that is wrong. Jason Tees. Thank you. Philip, you're up next. Choose a category. I'll take Brony Music number four. Brony Music for four. Who sang the soul singer, Pegasus device, and a reimagined cover of the Living Tombstone's Octavius Overture? Now I'm afraid your time is up. Okay, you give up. It's left. Sorry. Lightning Gear, you're up next. Please choose the category. Um, I'm feeling kind of lucky today, so I pick fan fiction to three. Fan fiction for three. Which story by Penstroke introduces an alicorn filly named Nyx and the cult of ponies devoted to restoring nightmare movies? Past sins. Past sins. Very good. Very good. Well done. <laughs> and finally, Blue Rack LV, please come up to the microphone. Blue Rack, choose the category. My Little Pony CCG, four. For, for what? Four. Four. Which expansion was published after the Crystal Games and before the Equestrian Odyssey? Absolute Discord. That is the right answer. Well done. Okay. At this point, each of you has answered one question, and you can see the points here. I will tell you now that the aim is to be among the top six, because six of you will move on to the next round. So the ones who are at the bottom four will have to leave the game. So, Chaos Tomato, you're up again. Please step up to the microphone. Choose a category. Brony music again. Brony music? Yeah. Four? Uh, oh, there's only one left. Yeah. Very hard. Good luck. <coughs> Which song by Aviators deals with the Cutie Mark Crusader's struggle of growing up?
14 is not the correct answer, it's 15. Fight! I'm so sorry, you're off by one. Sponzo, please come up to the microphone. Okay, choose the category. Uh, comics 2. Say again? Comics difficulty 2. Com comics 2, alright. The title of the first My Little Pony comic issue is The Return of Who? Uh, Queen Chrysalis. Queen Chrysalis, that is correct, well done. Don Black, please step up to the microphone. My Little Pony CCG for a five. My Little Pony CCG? How much? For a five. Five, the very hard one. Okay. What are the cost and the color requirements of Stand Still? <laughs> Cost and color requirements. Should be two and two. Please speak a bit clearer and into the microphone. Uh, I think it's uh, two and two. Two and two. I'm afraid that is wrong. The cost is zero. The color requirement is too white. Uh, left eye hawk, please step up to the microphone. You will need to be careful because you're in the negative. So, which category would you like? Cast and crew four. Cast and crew for four. <laughs> Who provides the singing voice for Rarity, Princess Luna, and Adagio Dazzle? I forgot the name. You forgot the name. Yeah. Okay, it's Hazumi Evans. I'm so, so sorry. Philip, please step up to the microphone. What category would you like? Cast and crew, five. Cast and crew? How much? Five. Five. Who voices Mod Pie, Limestone Pie, and Marble Pie? You give up. It's Ingrid Nielsen. Uh, lightning gear, please step up to the microphone. Yeah. What category would you like? Um, breaking new ground here. Let's pick translations for two. Okay. Um, I will now tell you the title, and you have to identify the language. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Japanese. Japanese is correct. Do you know how to pronounce it as well? Never mind. Uh, Glorak LB, you're up. What category would you like? CCG? No, uh, only CCG one. CCG for one. How many action tokens does the first player receive in the first turn? Two. Correct. Well done. <laughs> Chaos Tomato. Chaos Tomato, please step up to the microphone. This is your last question. Okay, uh, what category would you like? Fan fiction four. Fan fiction for four. Yeah. Which Grimdark short story by Aurora Dawn is based on a song by Wooden Toaster with the same title? Uh, maybe a Woven? <laughs> Say again? A Woven maybe? No, it's Rainbow Factory. <laughs> uh, Professor Dr. Crazy Moon. Choose the category. IDW Comics 5. Say again? IDW Comics 5. Comics for 5. Okay. Uh, which artist is responsible for most of the comic artwork, specifically these issues listed here? No idea? I don't know. Okay, it's Andy Price. Sorry. But you're still pretty far off. So, um, Senator Pudding Edge, please step up to the microphone, choose a category. IDW Comics for one. Okay, this is the last comics question. Which of the main six is possessed by the nightmare forces that once possessed Luna and turned her into nightmare? Rarity. Rarity, that is correct, well done. Uh, spray for me. Spray for me, please come up. Choose a category. Castle uh, True One. Pardon? Cast and crew, one. Cast and crew, okay. Who wrote most of the songs in My Little Pony, Friendship with Magic, as well as the Equestrian Girls movies? Daniel Ingram. Daniel Ingram, that is the right answer. Sponzo, please step up to the microphone. 
Choose a category. I think I'll go with translations one. Translations? One. Translations for one. My little pony, les amis, c'est magique. French? That is correct. Oh, okay. Dog Flash. Not much choice, fan fiction or translation? I think translation for. Translations for four. Okay, here goes. Muy mali pony, chatelsi, a magistrate. Ah, Tristina. Check me, check my Say again? Czech language. Okay, well, the is correct. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's like walk. Please step up to the microphone and choose a category. Fan fiction one. Fan fiction? One. We've got one of one, okay. Uh, which uh, apocalyptic story by KCAT depicts a future equestria as a wasteland following a devastating war between zebras and ponies? I can't give you all day. Yeah, 
So you say a number. Okay. Gian Barrow and M.A. Lawson. No, 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 no. Say a number. Say two. Two. Okay, the other two. Would you like to bid more? How many? They say two. I'm going with four. They're going with four. Would, would you like to bid more than four? Yeah. Yeah? So you fold. You, you, so you give up. Okay, so we want to hear four script writers and co writers from Team Brass. Please. Uh, Okay, the, the entire team can step up to the microphone, but one of you will have to speak for the team. So, what is your first answer? Amy Keating Rogers. Amy Keating Rogers, that is correct. Dave Polsky. Dave Polsky, that is also correct. Lauren Faust. Lauren Faust, well done, and? M. A. Larson. M. A. Larson. M. A. Larson is also correct. Well done, and already we are about to And now we will play a second set. Oh yeah, and by the way, the, the, here are the other answers that you could have named. There are actually quite a few. And in case some of you are wondering why Daniel Ingram is listed, the reason he is listed is because he is actually the writer of one of the promotional shorts that came with Rainbow Rocks. So that's why Daniel Ingram is in the list. You forgot the writer from yesterday. So. Um, so, the next set that we're looking for is Colts and Stallions mentioned by name. So, to clarify, we are looking for male characters who are ponies, so other species don't count, no griffins, no uh, donkeys or mules or dragons, only ponies. And I want to hear the names of ponies which are actually mentioned on the show in the, uh, the, the My Little Pony French with Magic series or one of the Equestria Girls movies. The character only has to have been a pony at any point to count. So, this time I will start with Green with Team Grass. How many can you name? What's your first bid? Seven. Seven. Would you like to bid more? Eight. Eight. What's your bid? Ten. Ten. Would you like to bid more than ten? Uh, I'd say eight. I think eight doesn't work. So you fold. Okay, so 10 calls and stallions mentioned on the show by name. So, please step up to the microphone and let's start. Pipsqueak. Pipsqueak is correct. Rumble. Say again. Rumble. Rumble, that is also correct. Bulk biceps. Again. Bulk biceps. Bulk biceps, that is also correct. Thunderlane. Again? Thunder Lane. Thunder, okay. Could you please speak a bit more clearly so I can actually hear you? Thunder Lane is correct. Prince Blue Blood? Again? Prince Blue Blood. Prince Blue Blood, I see. That is also correct. Shining Armor. We've got Shining Armor. You're, you're on fire. Four Soren. To go. Soren. So Soren, yes. Well done. Trouble Shoes. We've got Trouble Shoes. And one left to... No, two left to go. Gyro. Gyro. Featherweight. Did you say, sorry, did you say that? Gyro. G-Y-R-O. I'm afraid that is a wrong answer. Uh, uh, he exists. He's Gyro is not mentioned by name on the oh. show. Snips. No, wait, wait, wait. You've got a wrong answer. Now the other team uh, uh, can steal by giving a right answer. Gyro is not mentioned on the show. So, all you have to do now is give me a right answer and you will win this point. Flash Sentry? Flash Sentry. That is correct. Well done. And you win the point. Well tokered. So let's see what other Colts and Stallions are still. There are quite a lot. Flim and Flam, Snips and Snails. Uh, cheese sandwich, Big Macintosh, a lot, a lot easier ones that you could have named. Gyro is not in the list. So, now that we have a tie, we are going to play a tiebreaker. And this one is going to work a little bit different. I'm going to show you the set. We are looking for episodes in which the end credit music is not the usual instrumental version of the theme song. So, you, 
you know the usual eight minutes music, there are some episodes that have a different music. For the purpose of this question, the two-parter episodes count as two separate episodes. I am going to accept the titles of the episodes, the season number and episode number, or if you can give me a sufficiently unique description of the content of an episode, I'll accept that too, as long as I can recognize it. So, um, Team Orange, would you like to start, or would you like to uh, let the other team start? Oh yeah, sorry, I, I forgot to mention, you should, in this round, you're going to give answers alternatingly. So one answer from one team, one answer from the other team. And as soon as one of you gives a right answer and the other gives a wrong answer, that's we'll the game. game. Okay? You, you will start? Team Orange starts. Okay. Do you know one answer? That would be the Crystalling part two. Say again? The Crystalling season six, episode two. Uh, okay, perhaps I should have mentioned that season six is not included in this quiz because many people haven't seen it yet. So season six uh, does not count, sorry. And um, then the best night ever? The, the best night ever, season one, episode 26. The best night ever. I'm afraid that is already a wrong answer. So, Team Grass, you can give an answer to win this round. Season 2, episode 26. It's... Oops, I'm... A, oops, shit. <laughs> I can't... I can't... Okay. Se season 2. Season 2, episode 26. Season 2... I can't allot wedding part 2. Season 2, episode 26. Okay, that is a correct answer. Whoa, I can't tell about waiting part two. So well done, Team B wins. So, thank you very much for playing. This is the end of round three, so I'm afraid I will have to say goodbye to you. Thank you very much for playing. And congratulations to the, the other team, which has won. Who is the ultimate brony and who is the total phony? Let's find out by playing the final round. I will ask each of you in turn five questions each. If at any point one of you can no longer catch up, they are out of the game. If after five questions there is a tie, we will continue playing until suddenly there isn't. Are you ready? Burak LB42. Here is your first question in the final. Are you ready? I am. At which organization did Rainbow Dash and Gilda become best friends? I need the full name. Uh, Cloudsdale Flight School. Say again? Cloudsdale Flight School. No, I'm afraid that is wrong. It's Junior Speedster Flight Camp. <laughs> Professor Dr. Crazygoon. Who inspired young Applejack to move to Manhattan before she got her cutie mark? Her aunt and uncle? Say again? Her aunt and uncle Orange. Aunt and uncle Orange, that is the correct answer. Which company creates and publishes the My Little Pony collectible card game? It's the Interplay. Hmm? The Interplay. Interplay is the correct answer. <laughs> Blu-Rack. Where did Blu-Rack go? Blu-Rack is not in the light. Please come back. I said I will ask all of you five questions each. All right. One pony who helps Pinkie Pie get to Yak Yakistan is delivering 474,234 watt. Blueberries? Blueberries is the wrong answer. Professor Dr. Crazy Moon. Which type of pony is pound cake? It's Pegasus. 
Pegasus is the correct answer. Dawnflash. Which word spoken by Apple Bloom prompts Sweetie Belle to come and that's not a word? To which Scootaloo retorts, what are you, a dictionary? The answer is victory fall. <laughs> Professor Dr. Pr no, sorry, Blue Rack LV, it's your turn. Which character is the only one in My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, not counting the movies, to utter the phrase, friendship is magic? Discord. Discord is the right answer. <laughs> Professor Dr. Crazy Moon. What does Pinkie Pie call the mystical orb of fate's destiny in It's About Time? Uh, uh, glass ball. Ball. Again? Uh, uh, future ball. Uh, glass ball. You said a glass ball. Yes. I will accept. It's a crystal ball. What is the name of the large egg-shaped rock on the rock farm of Pinkie Pie's family? It's Holder's Boulder. Holder's Boulder is the correct answer. <laughs> Plurak, you will have to get this question right to stay in the game. If you get this wrong, you are out. The name Awizotl, who is Darren Du's main antagonist, derives from a legendary creature in the mythology of which real-world culture? It's... Latin American culture? I'd say Mexican. Say again? It's Mexican culture. Mexican culture. Is it Peruvian? I'm afraid I cannot accept that. It's the Aztec. The geography was right that they did not call themselves Mexican. <laughs> this means you are out of the game. Thank you for playing. <laughs> Professor Dr. Crazy Moon. An overly long campfire song sung by Sweetie Belle is called 99 Buckets of what? Oats on the Wall. Oats on the Wall is the correct answer. <laughs> Dawn Flash, you have to get this question right to stay in the game. What is the title of an article written by Amit Amidi on CartoonBrew.com, trashing My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and other cartoons, bringing it to the attention of 4chan and accidentally starting the Broly fandom? I can't answer this question. You don't know? No. And the correct answer is the end of the creator-driven era in TV animation. This means Professor Dr. Crazy Moon wins. Thank you very much. Good night.